the last question we're doing on partial fractions. It includes everything we've talked about to date. One, expressing something in terms of partial fractions. Two, using that to do an integration. And three, using that to do a series expansion. Okay, let's start with part A. We want to express the following in partial fractions. So we want to express 8 subtract x over 1 plus x, 2 subtract x. And we know it's going to be in the form a over 1 plus x plus b over 2 subtract x. Okay, now we're going to cross multiply this side so it has the common denominator 1 plus x, 2 minus x. And we're going to say that 8 subtract x is therefore equal to a, 2 subtract x plus b, 1 plus x. We're going to do a substitution. We're going to let x equal 2. And 8 subtract 2 is 6 is going to be identical to this will disappear. And we'll get here 3b. So therefore, b must be equal to 2, this implies. And therefore, let x now be negative 1. 8 subtract negative 1 is 9. 2 subtract negative 1 is 3. So we're going to get 3a. And therefore, a is equal to 3. Expressing our f of x then in the correct form, f of x is therefore going to be equal to 3 over 1 plus x uh, plus 2 over 2 subtract x. And we're done for two e uh, three easy marks even. Next part, we're integrating f of x, and we're going to show it's equal to ln k, where k is an integer which we need to find. So the integral between 0 and a half of f of x, which we've said is 3 over 1 plus x plus 2 over 2 subtract x with respect to x. Well, that, what's that going to be equal to? Well, um, let's just do a bit of separate working for each of these just to make sure we know what we're doing. 3 over 1 plus x. Is the top uh, the differential of the bottom? Well, no, it isn't. If it, were to, if it was, it would be 1. And But we've got 3 over uh, that, so we'd uh, multiply by 3 on the outside to adjust. So the answer to this is 3 ln 1 plus x. So this first one here must be 3 ln of mod 1 plus x. And let's do the second part. Um, the integral of 2 over 2 subtract x dx. Is the top the differential at the bottom? No, it isn't. If it was to be, it should be negative 1. But I've got a 2 there, so I'm going to multiply by negative 2 outside. Uh, and therefore, this would be negative 2 ln of 2 subtract x. Um, so therefore we've got subtract 2 ln of 2 subtract x. Big square brackets around it between a half and 0. Okay, rub this out. Okay, put a half in and we get 3 ln 1 plus a half is 3 over 2. And then subtract 2. Uh, 2 minus a half is 3 over 2 again. So 3 over 2 there. And take off the answer when you put 0 in. So we get 3 ln 1 minus 2 ln 2. Well, um, 3 ln 3 over 2, take away 2 ln 3 over 2, is 1 ln 3 over 2. Okay, we know that ln 1 is equal to 0. So we've got ourselves subtract negative 2 ln 2, which is plus 2 ln 2. So this is ln 3 over 2 plus ln 4, um, bringing that to up as a power of 2, so it's ln 2 squared. And then we've got this is equal to ln 3 over 2 times 4, 1.5 times 4 is 6, so ln 6 is our answer, and k is equal to ln 6. Finally, part C, we want to find the series expansion of f of x. Now, f of x, we've done it now, is equal to uh, 3, 1 plus x to the minus 1, plus 2, 2 subtract x to the minus 1. And we want to go up to x cubed. So firstly, let's do this part, 3, 1 plus x to the minus 1. Let me write my binomial theorem up here for anyone who's forgot. 1 plus x to the n is 1 plus n x plus n n minus 1 over 2 factorial 
x squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed for mod x less than 1. So we're going to do this part. Keep the 3 in big brackets and everything's as it is up here. So we have 1 plus negative 1 multiplied by x plus negative 1, negative 2 over 2 times 1 uh, x squared plus negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 over 3 times 2 times 1 x cubed. Keep the 3 there. We'd have 1 subtract x. Um, this would be 2 over 2 which is 1, so plus x squared, and this would be uh, negative 6 over 6, which is negative x cubed. And multiplying by the 3, we'd have 3, subtract 3x, plus 3x squared, subtract 3x cubed, plus dot, dot, dot. And this is valid for the modulus of x less than 1. Now the next part is a bit trickier. I'm going to do it in a different colour pen. I'm going to go for green. We've got 2... Two minus x to the minus one. Okay. Now notice here. This is the big deal. This expansions only work if that number there is equal to one. So it isn't at the moment. So we're going to have to do some adjustments. So first, to keep that two where it is. Here, I'm going to factorise out the two. So it's one subtract one over two x, and all of that is to the power of minus one. Okay, so I've taken the two out um, of the of the inner brackets, but remember that all of this is the power of minus one, so that two stays there, and that's two to the negative one. One subtract a half x to the negative one. Okay. Well, now we can say that's two. Two to the negative one is a half. One subtract a half x to the negative one, and two times half is one. So we've got 1 subtract a half x to the negative 1. Now everything is in the form I can binomially expand. So I could write this as 1 plus minus 1 minus a half x plus minus 1 minus 2 over 2 times 1 minus a half x squared plus minus 2 times mi minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 over 3 times 2 times 1 minus a half x all cubed. Tidying this up is going to be 1 plus a half x and this here is going to turn out to be plus a quarter x squared and this here is going to turn out to be plus an eighth x cubed. Okay so this I can call it my b. Up here I can call that my a, and to get the final result for f of x, I add them, so I'm going to work out a plus b, and that's going to be equal to, well I've got 3 here, plus 1, which is 4, I've got negative 3, plus a half, so just use the calculator if you're not good with fractions, negative 3 plus a half, which is going to be negative 5 over 2x, and then I've got 3 plus a quarter, which is 13 over 4x squared. And the last one, I've got negative 3 plus an eighth, so negative 3 plus 1 eighth. And I get myself, uh, that's going to be equal to negative 23 over 8. Okay, now by the way, I should have said up here, I should have said this expansion is valid for the half, modulus of a half x less than 1, so the modulus of x less than 2. So for both of them to be valid, I've got modulus of x less than 1, modulus of x less than 2. Um, the stricter condition is modulus of x less than 1, and that's it, we're done.